Hey guys, Peter here, just landed from Tenerife into Barcelona, and I'm gonna be bunny hopping over to Bulgaria, where I'm really excited. I'm gonna be recording a whole new program, which I've been working on for quite a while, and uh, we'll report back. But guess what? We have a long layover here until I catch my next flight. And so what do you do on long layovers? Well, I've got something exciting lined up, and this will uh, lead into a story that I'll tell you about after my next little part of the video. Catch you shortly. Okay, so I'm now in a taxi out of the airport en route to somewhere. And this reminds me of the question I used to ask people, like, why do you stay on long layovers in the airport? And I'll give a couple of quick examples. One time I was traveling through Cairo over to Saudi Arabia, and I had like a six, seven hour layover. So I just got a taxi straight from the airport to the nearest Four Seasons, went into the spa and hung out there for the day. And it was awesome, got back to the airport nice and refreshed. And then there was another time when I was coming back from a Tony Robbins event, and we're flying from Honolulu to Los Angeles, and and uh, we got in at like six in the morning and then it was, wasn't until like six in the evening that our flight to London was there. So I said to the guys, what are you doing? He says, oh, well, we're hanging in the airport for 12 hours. Like, you know, I'm like, yeah, hired a car, put a bunch of us in the car, drove to Beverly Hills, yeah, had a great blast, yeah, toured Hollywood, came back. So again, it's just questioning, you know, why do you need to do things just because that's what everybody else does. So anyway, I thought I've got a layover in Barcelona. I know exactly where I'm going. Stay tuned. Guys, so here we are out of the taxi and as you know I've had some you know, pretty amazing cars that I've owned and driven over the years uh, but out of all of the Ferraris, the, you know, the Bentleys, Lamborghinis, all the stuff that I've, I've had, my favourite has always been the McLaren and so I thought hey I'm in Barcelona why not call ahead of time and arrange some playtime in one of my favourite cars which is the 720. So here we are at Barcelona McLaren and uh, I think it's all ready to go. Hey guys, just here in the basement for the uh, owner's private collection. We've got some Chelsea cars here, some of the old classics, as you can see on there. Absolute history in the making. For those of you that aren't petrol heads, you probably don't get it, but yeah, the stuff here that is just like of, you know, made of legends and uh, really excited. So anyway, time to go upstairs and uh, jump in the driving seat. Okay guys, I love this car. I have to say it is without doubt ah, an absolute piece of art. Uh, one of my favorite things on four wheels. So let's go play. Okay guys, listen, this is track mode now on the freeway here. And if you ever get the chance to drive one of these, you have to take it up. This is one of the most incredible cars, street legal cars on the road right now. Uh, and again, there's a difference between being mad and professional. You can normally tell by life expectancy and I'm just being warned of the speed cameras up ahead. So I better just drop this down. Now you check out the dash in track mode. It is yeah, absolutely stunning. And if I was to change that back now, it would actually go over like a James Bond car on there, but uh, I'm not gonna do that because I love the track. In fact, uh, are we past the camera? Yeah, no, there, there is one coming out for this way. Okay, let's get past that and count us down in three, two, one, and listen in. Oh, that rocks. I know some of you are not petrol heads, but you know, I've grown up with high performance cars my whole life, uh, pretty much since my early 20s. I bought my first Ferrari and there is just something ah, about this that is absolutely sexy. Sex on wheels, guys. Anyway, if you get the chance, yeah, put it on your vision board. 
This car rocks. Hey guys, Pete back again in the cab on the way back to the airport and doesn't that just break up the monotony of an extended layover? And the key here thing guys is that, yeah, don't let anybody tell you you can't do it or create the life you want. So many people just follow what they follow because that's what they did before, that's what everybody else is doing, right? You're the star of your own movie. Don't be a film extra in somebody else's. You wanna go test drive the car of your dreams, go do it, or take a picture or put it on your vision board or go smell the leather, right? Make it real for you, get excited, get the emotions involved. If you wanna go and yeah, ask somebody out you've been wanting to ask out and you're afraid of rejection, go swing the bat. What's the worst that they can do? Say no, so what, right? Yeah, if you wanna go take a mentor out for lunch that you've been afraid to approach, go do it. My point being here, guys, is that what stops people from living their dreams, from driving their dreams, from doing whatever it is that they want to do that serves them as the star of their movie is usually the story they tell themselves about why they can't do it, all right? Your brain will come up with the excuses to justify your fears. Being great and embracing your greatness is about letting go of that and saying, you know something, what's the worst can happen, right? They say no, right? Yeah, they reject me. So what? They're not rejecting me, they're just rejecting my request. There's a huge difference here, guys. So you know, I just want to say I love you. Thanks for being along for the ride today. It was a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, go go swing the back. Go get excited. If you're in lockdown right now, stop moaning about being in lockdown. Start getting excited about planning what you're going to do when you get out of lockdown. You know, it's Remember, your brain is there to make excuses to justify your current emotional state to be in line with your behavior. Don't listen to it. Override that. Yeah, ignore what's going in the outer world and start focusing on what you want to create in the outer world. If you don't like what's in your life right now, you're complaining at the fruit on the tree. Right? Well, if you're complaining at pears on a pear tree, it's because the, you, know, you planted pear seeds. Right? If you want apples, don't start moaning at the pears, start planting apple seeds. You know, the outer world is the fruit on the vine that's already been planted before. You know, don't pay it very much attention if it's not what you want. Just focus on planning what you need and you'll be driving whatever you want to drive at some point soon too. I have absolutely no doubt. I love you guys. I'll see you soon.